Hello all, welcome to another edition of Food Sack. Well, it is a Barbie world, and we're all Barbie girls, or at least I am, because I'm excited for the Barbie movie coming to theatres soon. You guys ever think about dying? And to help celebrate, Grilled have gotten aboard and they have released the Barbie Dream Burger. Yes, Grilled are pretty good with this sort of thing. They have done some interesting promotions in the past. They did a burger for the new season of Stranger Things. And a few years ago, they had a Walking Dead burger, which included lamb's brains. Now, this is not quite that adventurous, but it is pretty special looking. I'll just take you through it. It is a normal beef patty, lettuce, tomato, onion, tomato sauce. And then it has grilled pineapple, avocado, plus a pink mayonnaise on a pink panini bun. Yes, they have gone all out for this. The pink bun, I'm very excited. I'm not worried about getting blue pilled or red pilled. I am getting pink pilled today. I am fully on board with Barbie. I am keen, I can't wait. I wanna get this burger in my mouth as soon as possible. So let's check it out. Alrighty, I am back from grilled with my Barbie burger, but I didn't just get a Barbie burger, I got the Barbie bundle. Now, uh, unfortunately, it didn't come in the pink little carry bag, like on the promotions there. It just came in this regular, ordinary bag. A little bit disappointed, but the insides are still pretty cool. So, first of all, we do get, of course, the Barbie burger. Made lovingly there, and with a special box. Exciting times. We also got a sodaly drink, a nice pink drink. Probably the pinkest drink uh, available in Australia, I guess. I don't know. This is some sort of prebiotic soda. It's, uh, I don't know, eight calories per can. That's good. And we do, of course, get the grilled chips, their famous herbed chips, with the Barbie styled pink mayo. Look at that pink mayonnaise. That looks delicious it looks uh it looks like that stuff they ate in uh in hook you know that that weird like colored stuff they ate in uh in hook anyway i shouldn't be talking about any movies i'm just talking about barbie all right let's put these chips to the side i might just grab one because they do smell delicious and uh mm, yum let's get stuck in to this burger, this Barbie burger, the Barbie dream burger. I'm excited. When I saw this on Instagram, I almost squealed with delight. I love a uh, an elaborate promotion and this seems pretty elaborate. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Alrighty, so here it is ready to be unsheathed. Let's take a look. Da -da -da -da. There we go. Looking very much like a donut, to be honest. I think we need to look a little bit closer at that. The pink mayonnaise there making quite, quite a statement. Very pink indeed. I don't know how they made it pink. I don't know how they made the bun pink. To be honest, I don't really want to know. Uh, I'm happy with it just being pink. Don't tell me how you did it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm just wanting to put it in my mouth as quick as possible. Um, you can see some cheese there. I'm not sure I mentioned that before, but it does, of course, contain cheese. Let's lift this up. Whoa. Hey, there we go. Wow. You can see the pineapple, the mayonnaise, big bit of beef, tomato, onion, lettuce, and, of course, uh, there is supposed to be ketchup underneath. Oh, I can't be bothered. I'll just take their word for it that there is ketchup underneath. Let's just get stuck into it. Let's just get stuck into it. Wow. That is something. That is something. And actually quite a hefty burger. Quite a hefty burger. I don't know if many Diet in the Wool Barbie fans will be able to finish this. Even the uh, even for a grown woman, this perhaps looks pretty meaty. Aside from the pink stuff, it's very much a, uh, a manly sort of burger. Sorry to lean on gender stereotypes like that, but... Uh, yeah, this this is a this is a big one. Anyway, enough talk, enough chit chat. Let's get stuck into it. Mmm. This is uh. This is big. Let's uh. Let's go for it. Oh. Mmm. You can really smell the uh, the meat there. That is good quality meat. It is it is dripping. It is dripping. Wow. Um. Didn't get much taste of anything. Let's let's try again. Mmm, pretty good, pretty good.
Mm, let me get a little bit more before I give some evaluation on the burger. Wow. Wow, that is actually really nice. Like you may look at that and think that just looks like a burger that I would get from a fish and chip shop. And you would be right. That tastes really similar to a fish and chip shop burger, especially the pineapple there. You know, I think they grilled it in like the, the meat juice. It actually adds a really nice dimension, the pineapple. It's got this subtle pineapple-y sort of uh, acidic sort of addition there. Really good. It's got the crunch of the lettuce, these thick bits of lettuce. The beef, it's like a strong beefy meat patty flavor. It's really nice. To be honest, I can't taste much of the avocado. It, it probably could have done without it, to be honest. It's not entirely necessary. Just look at this uh, pineapple there. I, I think grilling the pineapple was a really good idea. Mmm. It just makes it fall apart much easier. All right, there's a little bit of avocado there. That was that was fine. The avocado, I don't know. I like avocado, but you can barely taste it on stuff, so it's not always necessary. The, the mayonnaise, I think, is quite good. I can't quite taste it because um, a lot of the other flavors are drowning it out, but I think it's good. I'm just going to try the bun by itself. Look at this bun, this pink bun, this fun bun. Mmm. Right, it definitely does not taste pink. Um, it tastes like a normal bun. But quite a good one. Quite a good one. Now, what about the mayonnaise? Let's, uh, we can try that just by itself because it's in this little thing. Now, it's a pretty thick mayonnaise. I have to admit, I'm not entirely familiar with the, uh, with the grilled mayonnaise. I don't know what sort they use, but it is a very thick one there. Anyway, let's give it a go with the chips. Wow. Mmm, yum. That is a really thick mayonnaise there. A double yolk, I think. A double yolk mayonnaise. Mm. Even by itself, that's pretty good. That is Koopy level mayonnaise. If I don't finish this with the chips, I'd be happy to take that home and uh, put it on something else. This is this is definitely worth keeping, and uh, you know, using again. This is nice. If the hot pink color doesn't turn you off, then uh, this is pretty good. In fact, I think this will be the winner with the Barbie fans, perhaps more than the burger. Mm. Yum. Finally, I'll check out this sodaly, um, raspberry flavored, prebiotic soda. Sounds all right, let's give it a go. I don't know if uh, Barbie drinks this in Canon, probably not though, but anyway, let's have a go. Mmm, wow. Well, right, that's actually quite nice, quite refreshing. Raspberry sort of flavor there, not, not super sweet, which may not surprise you. So there it is. Grilled really are going all out with this. They have uh, this uh, this information pamphlet there with all the info about the Dream Burger there and the Dream Burger bundle um, that was in store. They're also doing a thing in Sydney. In one of the stores in Sydney, the whole store is decked out to look like a Barbie Dream House. So if you live anywhere near the Sydney CBD, check that out. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is uh, this is a really interesting promotion. Good on you, Grilled, for going the extra mile here. That's uh, that's pretty special. I mean, it has actually made me more interested in the Barbie movie. I gotta say, I was not that keen. This may not shock you, but I didn't really play with Barbie dolls when I was a child. I was, I was more of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kid. But you know, I'm, I'm kind of like, I wouldn't mind seeing this Barbie film. It looks uh, pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. The marketing has worked on me. The machine has delivered. So well done to all the team there. This of course joins a whole host of movies we've had based on toys in recent years. There have been quite a few. My hope is that there is a movie based on the Rubik's Cube coming soon. One of my favorites. And I think that cube has a story to tell and I want to see it on the silver screen. Also, I do apologize. I should mention the price. This bundle was $25. So definitely pretty pricey there. I hope Margot Robbie gets a cut of that. 
local girl. She grew up really like a few hours away from here, less less than an hour possibly. But um, yeah, that is pretty steep. It is a really good piece of meat here, really good, but $25 might be stretching it for you. That was for the bundle. For the burger itself, you can get it for $17 something. So yeah, if you like novelty burgers, you are paying for the novelty, but um, yeah, it otherwise is pretty good. Anyway, I will enjoy the rest of my hot pink mayonnaise and my burger. I might, uh, I might scan this later and uh, check and see what that's all about. But anyway, many thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and to leave a comment. Have a Barbie day. Catch you all later. Cheers. Yeah, let's see what this is all about. Ta scan to discover more of the magic. What is this? Hmm. Sneak peek of the movie. Oh, you can get a, uh, a cheap ticket. Oh, yeah, they have a Barbie Beach Roll at the uh, Grilled Galleries in Sydney. Wow. Good stuff.